Today I'm going to show you how to find historical weather data using Visual Crossing's Weather History Dashboard. The first step is to choose a location. Initially, I'll click the Use Your Location link to use my current location of our Visual Crossing offices in Virginia. By default, the system will show data for the most recent week. The graphs on the left show the daily patterns, while the map on the right shows the analysis location as well as nearby weather stations. If I mouse over the temperature indicator at the top, I can see exactly how much warmer than normal the temperature has been. Now I will refresh the date range using the month to date option. This will show me the weather summary for the past month. As you can see, this period also had warmer than normal temperatures and a fair amount of rain. I'll change to the year to date option and you can see that it shows a fairly similar pattern. As before, I can mouse over the indicators to see more detail. Finally, I'll change to an annual summary and you can see how the weather patterns have evolved over the past 12 months. Next, I'll analyze a new location, that famous Beverly Hills zip code from the 1990s TV show. The recent week's data shows that it has actually been cooler in Beverly Hills than normal and there has been no rain. I can mouse over the indicator to see the exact temperature delta. Next, I'll jump to a year-to-date summary, and we can see that that data also shows cooler than normal temperatures. When I switch to the grid section of the dashboard, I can see the line-level weather data on which the dashboard is based. Clicking on the Export button allows me to export the raw data as a CSV for further analysis in Excel, Google Sheets, or virtually any other analysis tool. Thank you for watching, and please visit our free Visual Crossing Weather Dashboard page to try it for yourself.